After years of waiting, the Ozarks International Raceway is finally open. And here I am, this is the first event held here. This is the first time that a racing organization has been able to run the track. Only 50 cars were allowed to enter this event, and we are getting to take some of the first trips around the track. Ozarks International Raceway is located just northwest of Lake of the Ozarks in the hill country of central Missouri. We awoke at 6 o'clock on this November day with the sun still just coming up. The temperatures were in the mid 40s and we all gathered around for a driver's meeting. This event was put on by the central region of the National Auto Sport Association. We had a track map and access to two videos on YouTube to let us know the layout of the track. Beyond that, this was all new to us. And with that, we headed out for our first laps of the track. Now before I take you out on track, there are a few things I want to go over if you are planning on attending an event at the Ozarks International Raceway. Getting to this track is no easy task, and it will require you to drive for at least an hour on two lane roads without any shoulders, which is not any fun in the vehicle of the size of mine. And once you have arrived at the track, you must maneuver a series of incredibly tight turns. These turns are just large enough for a transporter the size of mine to maneuver around as long as there are no other traffic in the other lanes. And then once you have checked in, you must maneuver your vehicle down a steep, tight turn and then through a tunnel which is only 13 foot 6 inches tall. In the video, you can hear the antenna on my truck hitting the roof of the tunnel. Once you arrive to the paddock space, bring wheel chocks for everything. Bring them for your truck, your trailer, and your race car. The pictures here don't do justice of how hilly the paddock area is. There are only a couple flat areas large enough to park a truck as large as mine. To keep your car from rolling down the hill and have a flat spot to work, I would encourage you to get a garage space when you sign up for your event. Food this weekend was provided by a food truck and the bathrooms were porta potties, but we can't judge them on this because the track is not finished yet. With 19 corners and many blind hills, I cannot emphasize this enough, but on your first session out there, you must do a follow the leader behind someone who knows what they're doing. Otherwise, you will end up off the course or endangering others by traveling too slow when they're at full race speed and they come over a blind corner and don't expect you to be there. 
Some people are calling this the most technical track in America. I'm not sure if that is the case, but I do agree that this is a track that is not meant for beginners. If this is going to be your first time on a track, this is probably not the track that you want to go out on. I've also heard a lot of talk about the guardrails at this facility. I think if you were to drive the course, you would feel that they do leave adequate space. It's not much different than Heartland Park or Road America. It really feels a lot like the Nürburgring has guardrails on each side, is very technical, and if you do something wrong, you may be in the Armco. The other reason this track feels like a small Nürburgring is because you will not learn this track on your first session. I would say that it took me three sessions to know all the corners and be comfortable to put my foot in flat out through the faster sections with blind hills. As of yet, there are not many places for spectators to see cars on track. I assume this will change once the track is complete and they can concentrate on such things. Now let's get out there for some hot laps so I can show you just how great this track is.
been a great day out here at the Ozark International Raceway. My MP01 performed flawlessly. I had no problems with it today, which was great because then I could concentrate on learning the track. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.